am Jossie from Mark Iris, and we're going to talk about my gear. This right here is a handmade guitar by a luthier in Idaho. Had a rough night in the trailer last night. You can see the lacquer. That's sad, but um, it was made for a man who loves turtles, which is why it's turtle colored. Okay, the strings are 11 gauge, uh, which makes them a little bit flexible, but not too wobbly for a guitar player such as myself. And I keep it on this pickup, which is a little bit thinner than a blend between the two or that one alone, uh, which I like because our band has a lot of sound in it. And so it helps the guitar sit on top mix. I love these picks. They are actually uh, this brand in particular doesn't really mean anything to me but the uh, having a grip on here is really important because um, traveling around your skin gets really dry because you go from different climates and if you don't have a little grip on it then your guitar pick will just go flying out of your hand. Um, this also is like a it's a medium gauges like I, oh no, sorry. This one's extra light. That's this is wrong. <laughs> it should be medium. Um, not too heavy. Not too light. It's usually a good. This guitar, same deal. I keep it on the the only the this pickup down here. I like keeping the guitar is uh, on the thinner side again because our band is full of sound. So when I play it. I like it to sit in a smaller amount of space than maybe somebody that plays, you know, like a guitar that's filling up the whole sound of the band. It's more of a color, a texture, than it is like a the main thing that you're hearing. Um, this guitar is actually tuned super funky. Um, tuning it's not uh, uh, anything that is a normal thing that people do but I always keep this guitar in this tuning and it informs a lot of my songwriting um, I recommend that you play with tunings it's very fun it makes for uh, creativity this amp is magical it is created by Brian Webb of Providence Rhode Island um, you may have known him from the 90s. He was a singer-songwriter in the 90s. Now he plays more rock music and he makes amps and he does a lot of fixing of different things like tape machines and he lives in Providence and his trademark is that he finds car emblem thingies, I don't know, from like junkyards and he uses those as the tags for his amps. Um, and uh, this amp is meant to sound like a 50s amp so um, in conjunction with me putting it on the, the, the small sound of the pickup through this amp, it fills it out a little bit, it get, darkens it a little bit, but uh, yeah, the, the two combined make for a, a very heavenly, beautifully beautiful sound. Um, this amp sounds like on everything. So this right here is a super shifter. I started out as a clarinet player, uh, not a singer. Um, when I play clarinet, I would put a contact pickup on my clarinet, which actually Ray is using now on his drums, and I would stick it through the super shifter um, and through a delay pedal, not this one in particular, a, a better one that had a hold on it. Um, and I would make these really big, lush textures with them. Um, when I switched to singing, it occurred to me that I could use the same kind of ideas with singing and, and, I, and I basically just did. So that's where these two started. Um, I, didn't, I don't have a hold on this because I don't need it because I have a looping pedal right here. This is a DL4. Uh, this DL4 also is hooked up to this expression pedal right here so I can um, switch to any of these settings and use the, set the expression pedal to um, work with these knobs here uh, which make like the delay change and 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 be able to affect that with my foot while I'm singing um, 
I really love having my pedals down here rather than something that I use with my hands because even if I'm not playing an instrument, uh, it allows me to be much more interactive with the audience and you kind of learn where your pedals are. You almost don't even have to look at them. Um, it's awesome. And then, yeah, Holy Grail, I use reverb on my vocals. Sometimes, I, you can see tonight, I'm not using it and having the house guy do reverb, but I often do do that myself as well. And this is a, a tremolo pedal that acts a lot like a Leslie. It's really neat. And you can set it to two speeds and have it be like wah, 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 kind of thing. Um, and this is just a chorus pedal that Jay. I use in a few songs. And then over here are my guitar pedals. Um, the Pog is an octave doubler. Uh, it makes the guitar sound huge. Um, the Rat, many of you are probably already familiar with. It is a distortion pedal. Um, sounds like a distortion pedal. Uh, this also is a DL4, which sometimes is used for looping. Right now I just have it set as a delay that I leave on the guitar. It gives it kind of a warbly, misty sound that, again, helps with the guitar sitting as like a t more of a texture than, than being a lead kind of thing. The MIDI mouse here actually connects to the profit. Uh, the, the, so, um, I found that I was, this knob on the Prophet, the Prophet is a beautiful instrument, this is a 16 voice Prophet, um, Rev 2. The, this knob right here is extremely sensitive, so if you're trying to switch really quickly between sounds, it's really easy to fuck up. Like, so, so easy to fuck up. So, I'm um, sorry, I probably shouldn't say that, but I did. Um, this guy right here allows you to just switch really easily from one sound to the next. Um, and that makes life a lot less stressful while you're on stage trying not to go from the quietest sound to the loudest sound by mistake. Um, and yeah, Prophet is a newer instrument to us, but we have already used it for um, some co composing and stuff like that. It's, it's a, has so much depth. I, I, I feel like I don't even know what to say about it because it's, it's so huge in everything that it can do. It's so dynamic. It's, it's almost like a classical instrument in a lot of ways. Um, just in the, the expressiveness that it has, the dynamics, the manipulation, the human manipulation that, that you can have um, on the sound and uh, it's totally amazing but you should watch like a two hour video on it. This is a Telefunken M80. Uh, we love Telefunken mics because we seem to find that they don't feed back as much as other microphones. Uh, we play a lot of smaller kinds of shows and um, we found that these mics we can really blast in the monitors and we have very, very little problems with feedback, so highly recommend them as well. Thanks so much for checking out my gear. Uh, once again, I'm Jossie from Arc Iris. Our website is arcirismusic.com. We're going to be coming out with a bunch of music this year. Uh, we have a Joni Mitchell reimagining of her, her blue record coming out at some point this year as well as our third record and uh, maybe some other stuff. I don't know, it's gonna be a big year for us, so find us on Facebook um, and follow us and then you'll, you'll be able to listen to these things as they come out into the world. <laughs>